A night of worship ended in fear when members of Spokane's Bosnian American Heritage Club found anti-Islamic graffiti spray painted on their East Spokane Community Center's wall. KXY Force Grace Fissler working for you tonight. And Grace, uh, now Islamic and interfaith community leaders standing up for this group. That's right, Nadine. The, it, the graffiti happened on the 4th of July as members of the Bosnian Herzegovina Heritage Association were observing Ramadan here at their, their community center. So now interfaith leaders and community leaders have come together to support this group, call on law enforcement to make sure the people are caught and to raise awareness about the prevalence of anti-Muslim hate crimes in the United States. The Bosnian Herzegovina Heritage Association is a place for families to gather, spend time together, celebrate holidays, and to worship. Since Bosnians are predominantly Muslim, uh, during the month of Ramadan, uh, which we're in currently, uh, we use the space as a prayer space during that month. But on the 4th of July, this safe space turned into a place of fear when they came outside after praying to find death to Islam spray painted on the center's wall. This was a very a uh, scary event, especially for our children, especially for the eight, nine, ten-year-olds that could go outside and they can read. And so they read this message and they've never seen uh, anything like this before in their uh, short lives and they were scared, they were crying. Today, the Council on American Islamic Relations and interfaith leaders from the community gathered to support the group. Words have real consequences. When hate speech and conspiracy theories against an American minority are con constantly spread and go unchallenged, they can foster an atmosphere that, can, that causes hate crimes. The Council on American Islamic Relations says this is just one of the almost daily anti-Muslim hate crimes in the country that are reported to them, and many hate crimes go unreported. So the group called on local law enforcement and the FBI to make sure the people who committed this crime are found. The public needs to hear a strong message that there's zero tolerance um, for hate crimes in this society. And the Spokane Police Department and local FBI say they are investigating this vandalism as a hate crime together through the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force. And if you know anything about this incident, you're asked to call Crime Check at 456-2233 or the FBI Seattle Field Office at 206-622-0460. Reporting live in East Spokane, Grace Stitzler, KXLY 4 News.